morning, I'm Dr. Carvajal, I'm coming from the University of Colorado and I'm presenting to um, RWCAs in Maui. So I'm bringing a very interesting case to you and the title of my poster is more than just an ink flame tattoo. This is a patient that was a 32 year old male, he presented to me with about two weeks of eye pain redness. Um, at the same time that he developed his eye symptoms, he developed um, simultaneous onset of tattoo inflammation. He had induration, erythema, pruritus, as well as disquamation. Uh, didn't have any other symptoms whatsoever, and this tattoo was performed about one year prior to presentation. He was otherwise healthy, um, no significant uh, family history and no review of systems. He didn't have any joint pain, no GI or respiratory symptoms. Uh, he didn't have any oral or genital ulcers, and he uh, didn't have any constitutional symptoms. So, um, on physical exam, as we can see here, specifically on his um, ocular exam, he had evidence of bilateral pan uveitis, as well as iris synechia, as we can see there. Uh, he had retinal hemorrhage, he had um, macular edema, as well as optic disc edema. On skin exam, uh, as we can see here, he had induration of the entire black ink tattoo with a little bit of disclamation. Um, otherwise, his skin was uncompromised. He didn't have any other significant findings on physical exam. So, for workup, uh, we did a pretty extensive workup, which was really unrevealing. Uh, infectious workup was negative. He had normal inflammatory markers, negative ANA, ANCAS. Uh, we checked him for sarcoidosis, and his CT chest was completely normal. So, we ended up um, doing a skin biopsy of this tattoo, and here we have the results. Um, this evidence granulomatous inflammation with associated tattoo ink deposition. So this was consistent with foreign body type granulomatous reaction. So with that in mind, with his clinical presentation, we diagnosed him with granulomatous tattoo reaction with associated uveitis. This is a very rare condition and it's also poorly understood. Um, there is CRIs that this can be a subset of sarcoidosis, or maybe this is a delayed hypersensitivity reaction, but we really don't know its physiopathology very well. So we ended up treating the patient with systemic steroids, intraocular steroids, and he did very well. However, when those medications were discontinued, the symptoms reappeared, so we needed to use a steroid sparing agent, and we pick um, adalimumab. He has been on Adalimumab for about four months now and he's been doing great. His symptoms are completely on remission. So I think the take home point of this case presentation is that this is probably an under-recognized disease and when we see quote unquote idiopathic uveitis, we need to look for tattoos. And if patients have tattoos, we need to examine them and make sure that they don't have any escape changes.